Hi everyone, Sean Orleans here, live on location in Matt Jackson's garage for a special edition of Inside Anarchy. As you can see, not in the studio. We had an episode recorded to talk about the upcoming March 28th event. That, of course, as you know, has been canceled because of the COVID-19 outbreak. We're still going to air parts of that. We have a sit-down interview with Evan Jalistico. We have an Anarchy Spotlight segment, and we will have Matt Jackson here live in the garage to talk about the status of Anarchy for the rest of the year. So stick around, and we'll be right back. Listico. Evan, thank you for coming in for this interview. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, Evan, you came out uh, interrupting Jeremy Wyatt during his address of the anarchy crowd at the last show. What, what, bit of a fiery rant on your part. What, uh, what were you thinking when you came out there for that? So, I have a record number of days as Anarchy Champion, 520, and he is, he will now eclipse that, uh, unfortunately, but I never even got a shot at him to try and stop him. It wasn't even in the books. Due to an unfortunate accident, Sharkbait got hurt, and I took that time to say, you know what, no, enough is enough. I'm going to stand up for myself and I'm going to go to that ring, and I'm going to challenge him. He just beat me to the ring. Uh, that I, I had made that plan earlier today um, to uh, to talk to him, to uh, to challenge him, and I. Uh... Well, let's get to the match itself. What was your game plan at the time with Jeremy Wyatt? Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Jeremy Wyatt is a superior athlete in every regard. There's a reason he has as many defenses as he has. And there's a reason he's he's been champion as long as he has. So my goal was everything. Uh, I, I had made the decision that night by hook or by crook I was going to beat Jeremy Wyatt, and um, unfortunately. Uh, it <laughs> didn't, uh, it didn't work out for me. And, uh, now I have to live with the idea, the fact that he's about to eclipse my, my record. You, you ended up, uh, kicking him in the gut mm -hmm. during the match and... These lights are bright. Can we turn one of them off real quick? Yeah. Can we just, yeah. Can we yeah, just, we can do that. We can do that. Yeah, let's just do that. Thanks. Sorry. We can do that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Are you all right? Yeah. 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 Keep, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I saw his ribs were um, were bandaged up, and uh, you know, uh, if you come to the ring with an injury, it will be targeted, and I will target it. Right. Like, I, I feel no sympathy for Jeremy Wyatt. Like he would have done the same to me. It's once you step right. in that. Can we can we turn these off too? Sorry, at least yeah. one or two of them, please. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for for you if I if I see an injury. And he ended up beating you by count out. He hit you with a pile driver on the floor. What? Uh, do yeah, you I, remember any of that? I I, I don't. No. 
Um, the last thing I, I remember is uh, he used a rope break out of the torture rack and uh, then used a, a rope break after something else and he was out of rope breaks. Um, and then I had the cross face in the ropes. And um, that, that's all I remember. Um, okay. I, have, I have it here. And then I have uh, uh, Everett in the back getting me up. Um, okay. That's, that's what I've got. Uh, so yeah, there's a chunk missing. Um, and it's kind of been like that the last, uh, last couple of days. Okay. Um, well, how are you, how are you feeling now? <sighs> shitty. Okay. Absolutely shitty. Uh, I, I tried everything. Like, you know, I, I, I. It's hard to focus, but it's just, I just, I have to live with the fact that I lost, and that's fine. I've lost a lot. I've won some, um, but, you know, that's what I had, that those days represented everything I did uh, as champion. I came into Anarchy as the champion. I was the flag bearer when this all started, and then, uh, uh, all right. Well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna call a stop to this right now. Uh, uh, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for coming in, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Steph Stoolis here with another Anarchy Wrestler Spotlight today. Wildheart Cole Radrick from Bloomington, Indiana, member of IFHY. All right, welcome back. Joined here by Matt Jackson, the owner of St. Louis Anarchy. Matt, we had to cancel March 28th, May 1st, because of this uh, coronavirus. You want to give us a status update on Anarchy after that? Well, no, no doubt. I mean, it, it's rough. Uh, anytime you lose two live events, I mean, <laughs> it's not a good thing. But um, as far as the future and like future events, we do have an event scheduled for June the 12th. The plan is to still have that event. Uh, obviously, we'll adjust if like health professionals or city officials tell us we need to adjust, we will. But as of right now, we're hoping for that to be our return. So uh, tickets are not on sale for that yet. Uh, we're being cautious about putting tickets on sale right now. But June 12th is the tentative return date. Okay, and that was the Lethal Lottery show is right. that still the case for the June 12th show? No, uh, we're definitely making some adjustments. Um, you kind of have to and you lose two live events, things that you have planned, um, you have to adjust. And that's what we are unfortunately going to have to do. Um, so the Lethal Lottery will not happen. That, that's just going to be an anarchy event. Um, but I guess the bigger thing with that is the series events. Mm -hmm. So going into this year, we were supposed to have four series, Strong Style, Submission, Haas, and the STLI. Um, we did have the Strong Style series. The Submission series had to unfortunately be canceled. So that kind of puts us into a bind because you cannot just plug something in. There's certain talent that needs to be there for that, things of that nature. So we won't be having the, those events. Um, the series as a whole will be put off until next year. We're still going to do that, mm -hmm. but just not this year. Okay. As for the Tammy Jovine Memorial Cup, what will the status be yeah, of that? The Memorial Cup will be awarded to the winner of the Dingo Invitational, which is what we renamed the STLI to earlier this week. Okay. Uh, it'll be a 24-person tournament with the winner receiving the trophy. So the trophy will still be rewarded just, just like it has been since it was made. 
um, and that'll still happen this year. Okay. For anybody who wants to keep up with Anarchy, Twitter, at STL Anarchy, mm -hmm. Facebook, St. Louis Anarchy, mm -hmm. what about YouTube? Yeah, YouTube's a big thing. Uh, we've neglected our YouTube page for many years, so during this time where we're shut down, that's something we can promote. That's something that fans can do to help us, and it's free just to subscribe St. Louis Anarchy on YouTube. Our plan is to put up a free match every day. Um, that's the plan for right now. So we urge people to just to subscribe on YouTube. This Inside Anarchy show is going to be a big vehicle for what we're going to do going forward. Um, my plan is for this to become like the place to get news for, for St. Louis Anarchy. We would almost go away from doing your typical match graphics and things of that. Everything would get announced on this show. So that's the plan. And to do that, we need to grow our, grow our YouTube audience, which is not good right now compared to like other indies. So, mm -hmm. you know, we urge people to subscribe, St. Louis Anarchy on YouTube. Okay, and what are the other ways that fans can support us? Well, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash anarchystl. Um, we also have a free podcast, um, Dollar Menu Mid Carters, myself and Evangelistico will actually be uh, bringing that back on April the 1st. So that'll be the return of that podcast. Uh, but the Patreon, that, that's a way you can support. You get good content. You get free entrance into our pre-event party when we're able to have events again. Um, you get some money off tickets. So that, that would be the best way. Okay. And is there anything you'd like to say to the fans directly? Yeah, I mean, we'll be back. Um, I think it's real important that people take a deep breath. Um, a lot of people are scared, right? I mean, rightfully so, uh, but we will survive this. And I think what, what this has shown me is even more so than ever before, that we have a very passionate fan base. Um, when we were going to have this event on March 28th, uh, Heather Janine offered to come help us wipe down our entire venue. Uh, Barry Yoakum now is making graphics for the YouTube matches we're putting out every day. Um, I don't know like their actual first and last name, but on Twitter they're Bricks and Bloke. Okay. They offered to bring like a thousand hand sanitizer packages down when we were going to have our event on March 28th. So our fans are just very passionate, and that that's really what's going to help us get through this. Um, so we will be back. This will not put us out of business. Um, so don't worry about that. Uh, we will have live events. Um, there was a fan who the Twitter handle escapes me right now, but he put out a really good tweet about how he was looking ahead in time and it was June and that he was at Spalding eating pizza and fucking clapping for Gary's entrance. And like, we'll get there again someday. It's just going to take time. Um, but we appreciate you guys sticking by us. Uh, you know, with this sucks, but we will be back. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us in your own garage. Yes, I, uh, this was difficult for me. I had to walk from the back door all the way out to here, so you're lucky to get this time with me. I'm a very busy man, Sean. I'd very busy very man. Very appreciative of it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. We'll be right back. That'll do it for this edition of Inside Anarchy. We're going to do everything in our power to be back here in two weeks' time. Until then, remember, do it for the brand. Take 27. Get the guy back here. Gary the Gaffer. <laughs>